My name is Danny Pugh and uh, this is my new show called Tiger Fire. Why Tiger Fire? Long story short, tiger is my spirit animal. I found this out during a shamanic ritual that I went to and it was really, really amazing. That might be a story for another time. And then also my chart is just dominated by fire. Tiger Fire it just came together. So that's what I'm calling it. My mission here is to teach all of you about ancient Greek astrology. There is so much out there, you know, about Western astrology and a lot about sun signs being your ego and the moon being your shadow self and that's really, really only very new. We only started talking in that way actually in the 70s when we had Freudian psychologists talking all about, you know, your shadow self and your ego and that vernacular got applied to astrology. I'm going to teach you about what the ancient Greek astrologers were thinking when they looked up at the stars. My biggest inspiration is my teacher Arthur Chadbourne. I've been going to his classes for years and years and years and years and he actually went back to these ancient texts and tried to figure out exactly what all of this stuff means. This is my teacher's book and it's amazing. It's called The Moment of Truth. It's just so brilliant. Like this is my Bible. I'm always consulting this book. So today's topic is I really want to talk about Saturn. Saturn in Greek mythology is also called Kronos and Kronos is the god of time. I always think of it like that kind of fatherly paternal figure. Well, you know, you need to wash your clothes and clean your room before you go outside or else and you know what happens when we break those rules or do things out of order. We get into trouble. Every planet has the ability to give something to you, take something away, or do nothing. Every planet has like a tendency toward one or the other. Jupiter and Venus, for example, just want to give you the world and more. They're like the Santa Claus of the zodiac. Saturn and Mars want to take things away from you. And there's benefits to that. When we're sick, do you want more? You don't want Jupiter involved if you're sick. That's when you get more sick. You want Saturn involved to take away your sickness. You also want Saturn involved to take people out of your lives that don't fit you and don't suit you. So, ever had an experience in your life where something was very abruptly stolen from you and ripped out of your life? That was definitely something that Saturn did. Probably was really painful at first, but I would be curious to hear one person who in that experience didn't at the end realize that that was a very positive thing. For example, a relationship where somebody disappeared out of your life only to find out that they just had a lot of problems and they were not the right fit for you. Saturn can do things that are very aggressive and abrupt, but it's almost always for your benefit. So on that note, part of what we're looking at is what do you want to have taken out of your life? What do you want to lose? What do you want to let go of? I'm really curious to hear how you guys experience any of these things in your life, if you think Saturn is relevant to you. Saturn represents those no-no emotions and the things that we've learned to avoid and be afraid of. And so when we face those things, we're able to really settle into who we really are and what we really want. I'm just really passionate about people developing the courage to really go there and do that. Saturn's really preparing us to be our best selves and so we wanna be brave and go into that. Um, so yeah, please leave any comments about anything you might know about Saturn or how that might be influencing you in the comment section. Definitely subscribe to my channel, it's called Tiger Fire Astrology. And if you have any questions, feel free to tweet me. One of these upcoming videos, I'll answer some of your questions. So that's all I've got for you. Have a good day and talk to you soon.